What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing the Smithfield Spiral Glazed Ham. Now I've got some questions concerning a glazed ham. Is it hard? Is it difficult? Is it easy? Is it simple? Is it something that you would do on this channel? And that answer will be a yes. It is something we're going to do on this channel. I'm going to show you how simple it is, how easy it is. I'm going to give you a nice review at the end of the video. And thank you for all your comments. Thank you for all the questions. And thank each and every single one of you for subscribing to my channel. Down below, there is a playlist. Check it out. Also, while you're down there, if you're not subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe and also smash that thumbs up button. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you can get all the latest and greatest videos. With that being said, if you guys are ready to get cooking, as always, I am that guy to do it for you. Let's get it. First thing, and the only thing you're really gonna need is a Smithfield Spiraled Sliced Hickory Smoked Ham. This costs approximately $31, just over 11 pounds. It comes with a glaze packet and directions on the back. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 250. Get yourself a throwaway pan and spray it down. It makes cleanup a breeze. And then what you're gonna do, unwrap it and put that ham in face down. And that is gonna be it. When your oven is preheated, you slide it into the oven. Be sure you have some aluminum foil on hand because you're going to need it. I want you to wrap this thing airtight. Make sure you get it as tight as you can. This ham calls for 15 minutes of baking time per pound, which gives us about 2 hours and 45 minutes to 3 hours of bake time. And just like that, with the power of TV, it has been two hours and 45 minutes of bake time. You're gonna pull out your spiral ham, take the aluminum foil completely off, dispose of it. Then you're gonna turn the ham on its side, get your Smithfield Signature ham glaze ready to go, and you're gonna glaze that bad boy. I mean, use every single ounce in that packet. Glaze it all down, and then without wrapping it, put it back into your oven for 15 minutes, and guess what? That is a wrap. You are done. Your last and final step, this is completely up to you. Get yourself a baster, take it out, suck all that juice that ran off into the bottom and spray it right onto your ham. I mean, soak this thing and let it sit for about five minutes and you are ready to eat. Well 
guys, that is going to wrap up another video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But before you go, it is review time. This is something that you can take to events, functions, and also during the holidays, you can just show off your cooking skills. It's so easy. Anybody can do it, I promise. It was three hours of cook time, five minutes of prep time. All you had to do, the hardest part, was pour the glaze on it, set it back in there 15 minutes. The only thing also is if you get a ham, a spiral ham on holidays, then they are tend to be a little bit more pricey. But regardless, it was tender, it was juicy, it was simple, anybody can do it. Just because they look all big and they're all pretty in these pictures, do not be intimidated. Go out there, try one yourself today. Smithfield Spiral Glaze Ham, two thumbs up. Highly recommend it. With that being said, I think we are gonna wrap up another video. So, thank you guys for viewing. Don't forget, subscribe down below. Give me that thumbs up. And I will see you fine ladies and gentlemen at the next video. See ya.